Hey, welcome to the Audacity Bootcamp. Let's talk about a couple of new features in Audacity version 2.4.1. Hey, some of the new features in Audacity version 2.4.1 need to be talked about and explained. In this video, I want to look at the waveform DB view as opposed to the old waveform view. Remember that in previous versions of Audacity, you could go up here to the drop down arrow where you name the, tra the track and simply come down into this area and you could select waveform or waveform DB. Well, those options are no longer there. But let me show you where they're at because all is not lost. If I close this menu out and I come over here to my scale for my DB view here, remember zero in this view is complete silence and plus one and uh, minus one are the loudest points in your waveform in this view. This is the old waveform view. Now on a Mac, if I control click into this scale and on a window, you can simply right click it. I have the option here of, cl of clicking either linear or DB. If I click on DB, it gives me the old waveform DB view. And so it's no longer up in that drop down window. It's here in the scale itself. And you can see that when I change to that, that my scale changes to a DB scale. I'm now from zero to minus 60, with zero being the loudest point and a minus 60 dB being the quiet point. So if this is the view that you prefer, if this is the view that you like to edit in or record in, that's how to get to it. You simply right click or control click into that scale bar there and select the option. Now look too, I'm gonna to go back in here and I'm gonna control click again because I'm on a Mac. Notice too that the waveform DB in this view now is called linear. And so when we right click on that screen there or in that uh, scale there, then we're looking at the linear view now, which used to be labeled waveform, the waveform view. It's now simply linear and waveform DB is just called DB. So that's how to do that. It's moved, but it's still there. Next, let's talk about the old startup script that we had to enter if we were Mac users. If you're running Audacity on a Mac computer with Mac OS 10.15 or Catalina, it's also called, and you were using version 2.3.3 of Audacity, you had to enter this startup script every time that you started Audacity. Remember this? Every time you started Audacity, you had to open up a terminal window and paste or type this command line into that window in order to start Audacity and have it properly scan your hardware. If you were going to record in Audacity, this is the way you had to start Audacity. Otherwise, Mac OS wouldn't give Audacity permission to see your input device, your microphone, or your mixer. And if you're planning on recording in Audacity, that was a real problem. Well, that's been fixed in this version 2.4.1. That is no more. So the good news is you can throw away that script and just start Audacity normally. So those are two new features within Audacity 2.4.1 that you need to be aware of. Hey, if you like what I'm doing here on my newly launched Audacity Bootcamp channel, go ahead and subscribe. And let others know that it's here too. Again, I just launched this channel and I'm starting to load it up with some videos that I hope are helpful and meaningful for you. So until next time, bye.